when you meditate. You want to give full attention to what you're doing. This is the quality the Buddha calls jitta, which in the context of the basis of success means intent. The Thai is translated as putting your heart into it. You're trying to be aware all around, sensitive all around. Anything that's not related to the breath right now, you let it go. Let it fade into the background. You bring the body, bring the breath up to the foreground. You also bring the mind to the foreground when you do this. Because the mind, when it's thinking, has these little side rooms. It goes from one side room to another. And there's a lot hidden there. But when you're fully aware of the breath, the whole body is aware of the whole breath. Your awareness is aware of the whole body. There are no side rooms. you just got the one big room right here. That way, whatever comes up in the mind, you can see it. The different committee members can see one another, which means that the skillful committee members can keep tabs on the unskillful ones a lot more easily this way. So try to bring this quality of citta. It's interesting, the word for intent can also be the word for mind. So be intent. Make your mind intent, be intent on the mind, and make the mind intent on the breath. Try to be fully here. The more fully you can inhabit the present moment, the less likely it will be to go wandering off to the past or wandering off to the future. It's almost like the path of the past or the future is like a little tiny tube, and the mind has to get very small to go down that tube. In other words, your awareness of the body gets very small, and it's replaced by a mental image of the past, the future, and that will fill your awareness. And it seems big, it seems spacious, but it's actually constricted in that tiny little tube. But if you can habit the body, think of your awareness of the hand being in the hand, your awareness of the foot being in the foot. The awareness of each part of the body is in that part of the body. You're not focusing all your awareness up in the head or all your awareness in any one spot. Then it's harder to slip away. Think of an image just like the story they tell of the Buddha coming down from heaven after having taught his mother. They saw all the levels of heaven, all the levels of hell were suddenly open so they could all see one another. And the beings of hell, they said, had a momentary reprieve from their sufferings. And they could see that the assumptions they had made that led them there, that there were no consequences for their actions, there were no good places to go based on good actions, they had a moment of right view that washed that, those assumptions away. When your awareness is all open like this, you open up many different parts of the mind that were obscured from one another. And those little areas of the mind that say, it doesn't matter what I think right now, I'm going to think what I want to think. To hell with karma. Then you get opened up to the fact, oh yeah, when you do something skillful that's a lot more spacious inside, there are other rewards of good actions. That way it helps to clean up what little corners of wrong view may still be lingering around in your mind. So try to develop this quality of a whole mind, holy intent, fully aware of the body right here. It doesn't solve all your problems, but it is a foundation for the, for the solution of the big problem, which is the suffering and stress we cause ourselves. And because this is a foundation, you want to make sure it's solid and strong.